Welcome to Sea Leg Journey's Sunday evening live event with your host, Robin and Chet. And who knows, maybe Baby Enzo or Ringo will have a special appearance tonight. Pretty sure they will. <laughs> <laughs> you to participate in the chat and join along with the fun. That's right. Bring your questions and comments in. We're going to help you find out the things you need to know to make your next cruise the best one ever. Whether you decide to stay on the ship or get off the ship, a cruise vacation is a vacation of a lifetime. That's right. We'll talk about excursions. We'll talk about the ports. We'll talk about the ships and, of course, the food. It's almost showtime, so go grab that snack. The show's about to start. Mm. Howdy, 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 y'all. It's Friday night here in the Sea Lake Journey studio. That's right. It's March the 24th. We hope you've had a great weekend. It's been a lot going on over here, a lot of cleaning house. Uh, Robin took off Saturday, went to Georgia. She's up there digging some rocks, some little gemstones out there with her sister. Hopefully she's going to find something that uh, we can retire with. Who knows? But hey, we're glad you're here tonight anyway, here in the studio with us. Um, yeah, so we got some fun stuff we're going to talk about tonight. We're going to talk about the behind the scenes tour, which is called Behind the Fun on Carnival Cruise Lines. Have you ever done that? If so, we're going to talk about it. You can put your comments in the chat, but we're going to let you know all the information you need to go, why you may want to do this excursion on a ship. Uh, we've done it. We loved it. And I want to tell you all about it here tonight in the next hour. Woohoo! But hey, let's shout out everybody here that's coming on in already. That's been a whole bunch of people. We've had Tiffany Lava Shark coming in. Hey, Tiffany, how you doing this evening? The Z-Man saying, good evening, Sea Legs. Hey, Z-Man, what's going on, brother? Right on, there's Aaron Smith coming in saying, hello, Sea Leg Journeys crew. Hey, woo. we are so glad to cruise here tonight. Let me change this lighting here a little bit. That's a little bit better there. I had a little bit more light than I needed. Mm. All right, and we got TNT, Tom and Terry coming in saying, hello, amazing friends, family, and of course, Chet and Robin. Heavy on the Chet tonight because Robin is up in Georgia still. She won't be home until tomorrow night. She's having a good time up there. And uh, I'm doing stuff around the house that I can catch up on. You know, when, when there's two of you here and she works, she gets off work, you know, we just kind of want to veg out a little bit, you know, get something to eat and, you know, talk about whatever's going on and, and uh, stuff like that. So while she's gone, I've been doing a whole lot of just cleaning up, you know, stuff like cleaning the fridge, clean, actually cleaning the shelves and everything. You know, I always remember to do that kind of stuff to the microwave and, and the counters and stuff like that. But sometimes the fridge, you know, and there's no food in her right now because she's gone. So I said, hey, instead of going and buying food, I'm going to clean the refrigerator first. <laughs> and there's controversial cruising coming in. Scott saying hello, everybody. Hey, Scott, what's going on? Uh, Tom and Terry's going to show you how to do it right there. Hit the hashtag SLJ. Let my little robot there go to work. Put your link up in there so that other people can find you, get to know you, and love you like we do <laughs> here at Sea Leg Journeys. Mm. <laughs> right there. See there? Woohoo! Make sure you check out Tom and Terry. They're going to be with us uh, on the group cruise, and we've got some more information. It's going to be starting to come out a little bit quicker here on that, y'all. And um, 
we're going to next month start talking about the um, the stops, the port stops we're going to be making on the Norwegian breakaway for the group cruise. And there's four of them. So in four consecutive weeks uh, going on uh, starting April, I forgot the date. I think it's, I want to say the 9th, 12th, something like that. I'll give you the right date uh, Wednesday. And we're going to talk about that on, on the Tuesday night show with uh, Bruce and Tom and Terry and, and me. We're going to talk about shore excursions that are available, things that you can do at the ports besides shore excursions and what we're going to do and why we're going to do it and all that good stuff. <laughs> Cruising for one. Jeffrey's here. Good evening to you. Hey, Jeffrey, how's it going? Glad to see you here on this wonderful Sunday night. Mm -hmm. And Terry saying, hey, Chet and Robin and everyone. Hey, Terry. <laughs> Aaron's got a question. Like, who is that happy bunch in the thumbnail? Well, we can guess a couple of them. Laugh out loud. That's right, Aaron. If you saw the thumbnail, that is taken from a behind the fun tour on the Carnival Magic. And um, that picture was taken actually on the... Um, Officer's deck there. Oh, where, where do they call that thing right there? The bridge. On the bridge. So you have to refer to my notes. And that's the captain right there in the middle. We got to take a picture with him. And they gave us the picture. And we got to talk to him and ask questions and all that. And, yeah, that is a lot of fun. It is worth doing. I, I just, I just want to say right off the bat, it is worth doing if you haven't done it. And let me roll on down here. We got Fearless Rambler coming in saying, Howdy, Sea Lake Journeys. Fearless, have you ever done Behind the Fun Tour? Uh, I, I think probably you might have done it, haven't you? Tiffany says, love that background, Chet and Robin. Yeah, how do you like that, y'all? Now, if you look back there, uh, you'll see there's a dog sitting at the table. He is wearing a behind-the-scenes fun hat. And I'm going to tell you more about that hat in a minute. But that came from this tour. And the pig over there, he's got a lanyard, a behind-the-fun lanyard wrapped all over his head. I don't know what he, he was trying to put it on and didn't know how. I don't know what's going on over there. <laughs> Aaron says, yeah, SET Adventures brings the cruise news from Friday. So Sea Legs takes us back to Friday. You just never know. Sometimes we do. Sometimes we have to go back to Friday to get Sunday going. <laughs> hey, speaking of that, no, while you're saying that, Aaron, uh, Friday we did our live show at 830 in the morning. We did our first game show of uh, it's like a Mad Lib. It's a Sea Leg Journey Mad Lib. So if you missed that, Go back and check that out. See if that's something that you'd be interested in doing. I'm thinking, though, that the next time we do it, we're going to have to do it on Sunday because, um, you know, it, it's just, it just gets so involved. I think it'd be better with me and Robin both here. I make up the Mad Libs. She, she'll have no clue to what's going on. So when people put in a word or a name or whatever, she's just going to pick one because she has no idea what the story is. And I think it's going to make it more fun all the way around. And it'll give us more time to do it. So I'll make a little bit bigger one. Uh, so we'll do it on a Friday. Probably not next Friday. If I'm not mistaken, next Friday, y'all correct me if I'm wrong, is Easter Sunday. The 31st, last day. Easter Sunday. I don't know. Uh, let me know in the chat, too. Uh, is everybody going to be busy on Easter Sunday or you, know, you still want to do a live show? We don't have anything planned on Easter Sunday. I just figured you know, we might cancel the show because everybody's kind of scattered to the wind doing stuff. And, uh, you know, we can always catch back up the following week. It's a Cruise Life's here. Hey, guys. Hey, Pete and Lisa. How's it going? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> right on, guys. Good to see y'all here. Um, let's see. Tiffany says we're doing well, Chet and Robin. Right on, Tiffany. Right on. Right on. Good to see that. And we got all kinds of highs. I'm just going to scroll through some of them here. Look at that. See? If you, everybody knows everybody, if you don't know somebody, put your link in there. Let them get to know you and find you. Check out Tiffany Lava Shark, y'all. She's going to introduce you to Nugget if you get over there. Woo, yeah. Danny D saying, yo, yo, Danny D. The spectacular supporter. Right on. Thanks, Danny D, for being here. We appreciate it. One of my great, fantastic, wonderful moderators right there. Woo. Along with Fearless Rambler also in here and Aaron Smith. We got some great moderators, y'all. And, uh. Controversial Cruising said, let's remember to hit that like. Hey, I appreciate that, Scott. I always forget that. You know, I even make a note for myself at the top, and I still forget it. Thank goodness somebody in the chat always remembers because I always get – I do get a good number of, of likes, thumbs up. I appreciate it. And also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, it's free. 
go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It won't cost you nothing. We won't pester you or anything. But we will give you a squeaky if you subscribe. <laughs> Orange Cone Vlog. Hey, Ross, how you doing? Squeaky, squeaky chat right on, Ross. Uh, you get the first double squeaky of the night. How about that? Right there for Ross. <laughs> and Aaron says, uh, SCT Adventures brings the Friday cruise news on Wednesday. And I guess Sea Legs takes us back to Friday on Sunday evening. <laughs> you just never know how it's going to work around here, Aaron. Sometimes we don't even know. Um, at least, I, at least I thought I came up with a really cool, fun topic. You know, the behind the fun tour on Carnival, where you get to go behind the scenes and see all that stuff. Other cruise lines, I believe, have it too. We've only done it on Carnival, on the Carnival Magic, and it was so great. You know, we like to talk about doing an excursion on the ship, and we'll talk about different things like a spa day or <clears throat> the chef's table, things like that. Well, how about behind the scenes tour? behind the fun tours they call it on carnival y'all it, it it is worth going to let me let me read the first part of this here real quick and then we'll get rolling again uh behind the fun is now available to book pre-cruise on carnival.com how about that to book guests will select the tour as a shore excursion under the ship's home port so if you want to book behind the fun remember book it before you go if you can it's limited to like 16 people it sells out fast. If you haven't booked it before you get on the ship, chances are you're not going to be able to book it because they're only going to do it once on a cruise, okay, and only 16 people. So go to carnival.com to book it, right? You definitely want to do that. And it's under the ship's home port. Uh, most Carnival guests are aware that behind the scenes on their cruise vacation, there's a bustle of activity to deliver fun, memorable vacation experiences but to have gotten an up-close look at these inner workings behind the fun is an exclusive opportunity to experience an array of back-of-the-house areas that are vital to the ship's daily operation. And we're going to talk about all the places we went to on that ship. Now, this tour lasted like, I want to say it was almost three hours. It, it was a good long excursion, about like you would take off the ship. And the prices are comparable as well. And we're going to talk more specifically about the prices as we go on here. And it's 6.05. Hey, everyone. <laughs> Woo. Uh, there's Bama Nola coming in saying, hey, Chet. Hey, Bama Nola. Don't forget, y'all, check out Bama Nola. He always reminds us on his channel to tell your friends and tell your enemies. Mm. And I'm just going to add to that. Tell people you know. Tell people you don't know. Tell the mailman, the dog catcher, the post people down at the post office tell everybody get over and check out bama nola mm. team reese is coming in saying hey happy sunday happy sunday to y'all over there ray and kiki good to see you here tonight and look at there long time no see scott <laughs> but there he is danny d look scott's in here controversial cruising uh, tnt says are there any cruise where you will be taking that other people can join in are there any other cruises you'll be taking that other people can join in? You can join in. Anybody can join in any of our cruises. Uh, we always let everybody know what we're doing. And uh, now I know the the members, are our members, we sent out a specific video to you to let you know. But I'll run it down real quick if anybody's interested. Uh, May 12th through the 19th of this year, we're going to be on the MSC Seashore out of Port Canaveral. Come on and join us, y'all. May 19th through the 26th, it's that group cruise, Norwegian Breakaway. You definitely don't want to miss that, y'all. Mm. October 26th through November the 2nd, we're going to be leaving out of L.A. on the Discovery Princess going down the Mexican Riviera. And we're going to be flying over on the 25th of October. Meet us over there. Come on, let's get on that Discovery Princess, y'all. December 14th through the 21st, we're going to be on the Sun Princess out of Fort Lauderdale. Now, on that one... Marjorie's joining us on the Sun Princess on the MSC Seashore. Lori Barber is going to be joining us. And there's several people going to be joining us on the breakaway. Oh, come on. And then the following year, we're going to be uh, in May. We're going to be back on the Sun Princess for another seven days, March 15th through the 22nd. And uh, May 10th through the 17th on the Enchanted Princess. October 24th through the 29th, we'll be on Valiant Lady Virgin Voyages. So, yeah, anybody wants to know anything other specific, uh, hit me on an email, Sea Lake Journeys, 
right? Okay, at sealakejourneysgmail.com, and uh, I'll give you the full list or any particular one you're interested in. If you need help booking them, we can help you get them booked too. Not me personally, but I'll, I'll steer you in a direction. How about that? I sure will. Woo! Okay, I, man, I'm excited already. Fearless says, no, I haven't done behind the fun. Oh, yeah, I'll tell you. George, I think you would really like that. You like seeing the inner workings of stuff too, like I do, figuring out how stuff works. And they show you some of that stuff. It's, it's really interesting. Orange Cone says, so, Chet, the question is, are you joining us on a rock and roll tribute cruise? I don't, I know I won't be able to do 2025, maybe on 2026. So 2026, the doors open there. 2025, uh, probably not because we're doing the uh, Virgin Voyages. And that'll probably be the last one we do in 2025. Uh, we're having to narrow it down a little bit because the cost of cruising has gone up. So we've kind of, you know, even that cruise is only a five day cruise. All of our other cruises are seven days. That's what we kind of like to do. Stick with seven days. Uh, a week is just more, more time to chill, you know, because the first day you're ah, <laughs> and the second day you're trying to wind down the third day, then you're into the groove. Right. And then of course the last day you gotta, you know, you're like, Oh no, we gotta go home. <laughs> Don't want to go home. <laughs> Tiffany says it's been snowing in Great Falls, Montana the last few days. Snowing, you know, it's been snowing up north, hasn't it, and out west. Down here, we got rain. We did get like an inch of rain the other night, and we needed it. We were ready. TNT says, wish we could go, Orange Cone, but we have too many booked. That's that's where we're at, TNT, same place. And I, I have to book two years ahead uh, because if you don't, you're not going to get a handicap room. Um, I've gone back and checked stuff already that's only a year out from now, and pfft, a lot of rooms are already sold out on a lot of stuff. Danny D says, nope, not busy Easter Sunday. Well, look at that. Or somebody not busy on Easter Sunday. Is anybody else not doing nothing? Let me know. TNT, it's 2025. Yes. Uh, uh, and I'm, I'll be I'll be having to look for 2026. I don't, I don't see it happening in 2025 for us. Aaron says, hashtag team replay. Yes, Mad Libs was fun on Friday. Bolo for them juicy leg baby daddies. If you don't know what them juicy leg baby daddies are, go back and check out Friday morning show. <laughs> I didn't make it up. People in the chat did. I'm just, I'm just saying. Just a disclaimer there. Uh, we will be there for you on Easter Sunday. You know, we may just do a show on Easter Sunday then. I'm not going to cancel Sunday yet. I'm going to wait and see. It looks like we're going to have people hanging around. So right on. Bama says, I'm always busy, but I always make time for sea leg journeys. I, you know what? Bubble squeaky for Bama right there. <laughs> Bama, no awesome people right there, Billy. We appreciate you more than you know. And Fearless says, have family coming in, Chet, next Sunday. All right, so Fearless will be out because he's got family. Hey, Fearless, if you want to scare the family, maybe maybe you don't want them to come back the following year. Just say, hey, y'all, uh, we got to watch this real quick while we're, while we're having Easter dinner. Come on, everybody. We're going to watch Sea Lake Journeys. <laughs> <laughs> that's called a real solution for a real cruiser that they'll be like my iq just dropped 10 points from watching that show <laughs> happy easter y'all yeah it's coming up isn't it i also have a pig visiting my oven next sunday oh a pig hopefully it's not this one back here <laughs> all right hey have fun with that ham fearless mm. I could, I could go for some ham and pork chop. Making me hungry now. I haven't eaten supper yet. After this, I'm probably going to be starving. And, uh, oh, Cruising for One says, by the way, I took down all my channel videos on YouTube because they're all about how to use the cruise apps, which were way out of date. But I do have another fitness center and hotel blog post coming out. I tell you, the fitness center blog was fantastic. Fantastic. If you go over there and check out Jeffrey's blog and you can find his link in the description of this video and just about every other video we got, check out that blog and tell you what, if you don't go to the fitness center, you're probably going to want to go when you see that. And if you do go, you're going to really appreciate it on seeing that blog. Yeah, I saw that you were working on your uh, a channel. I saw you had pulled the stuff down, but I still want people to know about it. I still want them to know to go ahead and get over there and subscribe to Jeffrey because when he puts stuff up, it's good stuff. And you don't want to miss it. I don't want to miss it. Another real solution for real cruisers right there. Mm. And there's Alaska Group Cruise coming in saying, you make my day. Thanks. Hey, you just made my day, Alaska Group Cruise. Thank you for that. We appreciate it. Glad to see you here again tonight. 
and a woohoo. And that's Angie. That's right. Angie. I'm going to remember that, Angie. <laughs> uh, is there a behind the funnel NCL? You know, I think there is, but I haven't actually checked into that and see. That's You know what? I, we need to check into that, Tom, because that would might be something to, to do. Because the breakaway is a big enough ship that I think it would be an outstanding tour. And Cruising for One says, that's a great idea to be able to book the tour in advance. Celebrity does that, too. Yeah, you definitely got to book this in advance because it sells out. Um, it, hey, you know what? Let me move on to the second thing. So, so some of the stuff you get to see, right? The ship's bridge. Have you ever wanted to go on the bridge on the ship where the captain and the officers and the navigators are? You get to go there. You get to go there, y'all. And you get to meet the captain and you get a photograph taken with them, like our thumbnail, and then you have a question and answer time. And I'll never forget that captain that you see in that picture. Somebody asked him, hey, what do you do, captain, if you get caught in a storm? You know what he said? He says, a good captain doesn't get caught in a storm. I was like, man, I'm glad on your ship. I'm on your ship right now. <laughs> I'm giving that captain a, a squeaky right now because I was blown away by that. Uh he was serious too. He was like, I ain't getting, I ain't getting caught in no storm. I see a storm. I'm getting around that thing. <laughs> so yeah, I love the way he was thinking. Um, also, oh yeah, that's what I put. A uh, second thing you get to see is the main galley. Okay. You get to see the main galley, go down there and see how huge this is. All the stainless steel. It's fantastic. Now you can also see that in our chef's table videos. I, I don't have it from behind the scene tour because you cannot take your camera. You can't even take your phone, guys, on this behind the fun tour. So the only pictures you're going to get is the pictures they take for you and give to you. You don't have to pay extra for them. They're part of it. Okay, so, but you get to see that main galley, and it is worth going to see. It's a, it's a fantastic operation back there. You also get to see the staff dining areas. That's right. You know how the staff area is off limits? The crew area is off limits? You're going to get to go down there. Now, you're not going to get to see their quarters, of course, but you will get to see their their uh, dining areas. And uh, on the Magic, they had more than one. So they set up like the little, little diners in there. It's, it's really cool. And the food they serve is a little bit different because they cater to the crew a whole lot. So they, they make food that the crew, you know, what they have back home that they want, that's what they can get in their in – their, uh, little dining area. So I was like, wow, that's really cool. To me, that would be an incentive as a crew person, knowing that I can get food that I like, you know. Mm. And Aaron said, welcome back in right there, Alaska Group Cruise. Thanks for that, Aaron. We appreciate it. Fearless says, behind the fun ultimate tour on our next cruise on the Forense is $130 per person. Yes, yeah, we're going to tell you all the prices run down on all the Carnival ships, just so you all know. And uh, But it's worth it, I think. It, I look at it as a shore excursion on the ship. Like I say, it's, it's about three hours, and you're going to get to see a lot of stuff. And it's it's just fascinating if you're into that kind of thing. And uh, Cruising for One says, I see Carnival Freedom caught fire again. I wonder if they will sell it now. You know, I don't think they need to sell it, Jeffrey. I'm, as a mechanic... Used to be a mechanic. Now, I did work on ships, okay? But, however, I do understand engines. And it looks to me like the engine, like the fire is in the same part of that whale tail again. And I'm pretty sure that it's operating on some type of like a V-twin engine. You know, there's pistons on either side. I would check that bank of cylinders. One of them's got to have a, an injector dumping too much fuel. So it could be seals leaking in it. It could be bad injector itself. Hopefully they'll figure that out and get that fixed. Mm. Mm. So, yeah, I, I, I think they can fix it. Hopefully they don't scrap that thing. Maybe they'll just take that top of that tail off again, you know, running around with no tail because when we were on it, it didn't have the tail. It was kind of funny looking, but but you know what? It was, it was, a, it was a great ship. They had a great crew, great food. We loved it. And uh, TNT says, do you have a breakaway video? Oh, you know what? What do I have? No, I don't have my video breakaway video up tonight. I don't have it up tonight. I sure don't. No. Nope. Oh, I'll have it. Up. I'll have it up uh, next week though. I sure will. Warm strong coming in. Hey, Bill, how's it going over there? Woo! Now there's a guy knows a thing or two about Carnival too. Hmm. Yes, sir. He sure does. Everybody saying. Everybody saying hi. 
Hey everyone, I missed. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to do, Danny. I hope I didn't miss anybody. If I did, I want to say hi to everybody that's there. And uh, Fearless says, Tiffany, it snowed last night. I think it's time for spring. Yeah, you guys still getting snow out there. But uh, yeah, I remember my dad when he lived in upstate New York as a kid. He says sometimes it would snow as late as June. Can you believe that? It wasn't usual, but but it did happen a few times. Uh, Cruising for One says, I like 14-day cruises, but to be honest, I'm ready to come home after 14 days. It starts to become too much of a good thing for me, and I never want cruising to become routine. That's a great tip right there, y'all. Yeah, you know, uh, that's the most we've done is 14 days back-to-back. Uh, -back. And it was on the uh, Caribbean Princess, one of your favorite ships, Jeffrey. <laughs> and uh, yeah, yeah, after 14 days... You know, I like you say, I don't want to get too used to this. I want it to still be special to me. I want it to still be fascinating and, and fun and far out and all that. So you, 14 days probably is a good limit, but I'm probably going to test that limit after Robin retires. <laughs> Danny says, I can't do any cruise trips because next year I'll be busy in February. I'll probably be going on vacation with the family. April with mom and dad are going away for a week. No clue when the wedding is for big bro. Oh, it's going to be coming up too, ain't it, Danny D? Woo! I tell you, you're going to have a big year next year. And uh, hopefully you'll get uh, make some time to get on a cruise with us. Come on, Danny D. We have a good time. Bacon. Bacon. <laughs> Even if you don't know what that's about, it's worth a squeaky. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's something to do with Fearless Rambler over there and his pig. <laughs> <laughs> Ross says, Chet, try to swing by the pre-cruise hotel and hang out with us in Port Canaveral. Hey, yes. You know what? Um, out of Port Canaveral, uh, you're leaving on a Saturday. You're coming in on a Friday. We might be able to make that work. We have uh, we have made it work a couple times. We just recently went and saw Jimmy up in Winter Haven and Colleen from the Astute Tourist. And then a couple weeks before that, we went to Miami to see Pete and Lisa from It's a Cruise Life. So, if we can make that happen, we will, Ross. We'll definitely get over there and see you. Speaking of get over there and see you, there's Jeremy and Cheryl Cruise Adventure saying, hey, everyone. Hey, what's going on over there, y'all? <laughs> Good to see y'all tonight. Everybody's going to be saying hi to you now. Look at this. Right on. Hey, Jeremy and Cheryl. Hey, Jeremy and Cheryl. Oh, look at her. Bama says, Fearless Rambler, the weather is beautiful yesterday and today. Sunny, lower 80s. Yeah, I think that's about... About what we had here, too, I believe. Uh, Terry says, NCL does have behind-the-scenes tour for $139 per person. Hey, we need to check that out. Um, I wonder if they got any openings still left. I wonder when they open it up to booking. And all of us being first-timers, will they put us at the back of the line and say, hey, all of our, you know, people who are, you know, elite category or whatever, they get a week ahead to book it if they want it. I wonder how that works, too. But that would be, I think that'd be a fun thing to do. I, I'm very interested in that, Terry. Very, 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 very. The Freedom Fire was caused by a lightning strike. Yeah, I know that's Carnival's word on it. And uh, maybe maybe that's really what happened. I don't know. It just seems odd. Seems odd for a whale tail that caught fire once before to catch fire again. This time it was lightning. Hmm, I'm suspicious. That's a little suspect to me. I would like to investigate that for myself. <laughs> I want to find out. I want a real solution. <laughs> and we've got Tunde Olorun Mi Olorun Remy. Olorun Remy. I hope I got that right. And from Nigeria, pray for me. Right on. There you go. Tunde, well, we will do that with man. This is impossible. With God, all things are possible. That is very true. Hey, thanks for being here with us tonight. I'll give you a squeaky all the way over there to Nigeria. Michael, the real is coming in saying, see like journeys and the rest of the cool people in this live chat. Hello and good evening. All love you from Michael. Michael, love right back to you, brother. Thanks for being here. Michael's an awesome dude too. Be sure to check him out. We like to support him. And right there's his link too, y'all. Hey, there's been a lot of links go up here. Make sure you check them out if you haven't already. Mm. Uh, mm. Cruising for one says, we have three seasons, winter, June, and July. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, we have the opposite. We have summer, more summer, and a couple days of fall. 
Uh, hello, everyone from California. <laughs> I apologize. Don't apologize. We're glad to have you here no matter where you're from. You can be from California. You can be from Nigeria. You can be from Mars. You can be from a cruise ship. Wherever you're from, we're just glad, glad you're here with us. Uh, we love the freedom. Got to meet some great creators. That's right, Tom and Terry. We did, too. We got to meet Tom and Terry on the freedom. We got to meet SCT. We got to meet See Me Traveling, Kurt and Marsha. It was a great time on that ship, wasn't it? Woo! Yes. And uh, Danny's going to be busy next year. Probably be in Chicago. Depends on what they want us to come out for. <laughs> hey, hey, if something falls through, come on a cruise ship with us, Danny D. That's an open invitation right there for you. Fearless is waiting for that weather. <laughs> <laughs> hey, okay. What's the next thing I want to tell y'all? Oh, the storerooms we got to see. Uh, the storerooms we got to see on the ship. You go down what they call I-95. It's a long corridor down the entire length of the ship. And forklifts can run back and forth. It's like a road down there, y'all. That's why they call it I-95. And on each side, there's different storerooms, warehouses, and they keep fish in one. And steak in one and chicken in one everything is kept separate so no cross contamination it is a huge operation something that you definitely want to see worth the price of admission and terry says speaking of that there's a few openings left six to eight for each time also they have more than one then on that how about that you know what robin will be home tomorrow i'm gonna to tell her that i think we want to do that what about y'all and uh Find out what time y'all want to do that and what day, Terry, and let me know. I'm going to write that down, see if we can uh, make that happen. Mm. Orange Cone says, we have winter and construction seasons here in Chicago. <laughs> winter and construction season. <laughs> yeah. Aaron says, here in Tennessee, we are currently in the spring of deception. <laughs> oh, boy. Don't you love the, our climates, the way we can describe them for those of us who live in our areas? In our areas, uh, Aaron says, I don't remember which ship it was, but one time on Mighty Cruise Ships on Smithsonian Channel, they used the I-95 reference to the loading routes on the ship. Exactly. Yes, that's exactly it, Aaron. Apparently, it's it's a, a common term that they use. And I'm telling you, if you do this behind the scene tour, it is a like a road down. If that ship is a thousand foot long, like a lot of them are now, that road is almost a thousand foot long in there. And there's forklifts everything going back and forth and pallet jacks and all these rooms on each side. It's, it's like Noah's Ark, but with food instead of animals. It's really cool. I really recommend you see this. Another fascinating place, one that Robin really liked, was the laundry room. Go down to the laundry room and keep in mind, they're doing the laundry for the entire ship, okay? You've got over 1,000 crew people. You've got 3,000 to 5,000 passengers. So you've got sheets and pillowcases and blankets from all these people getting washed, towels, washcloths, beach towels, all this stuff's got to be washed every day, uniforms for the crew. And when you got to, we got to see how they pressed the officer's suits like the captain, it's like a mannequin, right? And you put the coat jacket over it and button it all up and you put this hose up to it and it hit that thing and it like steams it from the inside and it poof, it blows up like this, takes all the wrinkles out and presses it. What a fascinating machine. And then the machine they had that did the sheets. The sheets come off of this machine. They're, they're washed and everything, and they come out, and it folds them all up, and there's a guy standing there just putting them in a basket, a basket on wheels. And when that thing's full, he pushes it, and somebody else comes and gets it and hauls it out. And he stands there, and that's what he does. And so we made sure we got that guy. We, took, we had some goodies sent to that guy when we saw he was what he was doing down there all day every day down there and, and yeah i was like man that guy he don't get recognized nobody sees the guy in the laundry room doing all this stuff right so we sent a whole bunch of goodies down to him we want him to know that he was appreciated too uh you know people we see we see the waiters and we see the people cooking behind the counter and we see our room stewards but the guy's doing the laundry they needed a little recognition. So Sea Lake Journeys, we gave them a little little bonus uh, while we was there. And right now, if there's any of y'all watching, I'm giving y'all double squeaky down there in the laundry room. You deserve it. TNT says, where are you, Orange Cone? We're in Bartlett in the northwest suburbs. That's right. Hey, y'all both in Chicago. Uh, hey, you know y'all could probably get each other in an hour. 
<laughs> in Chicago, it's so huge. Can you imagine? I can't imagine the traffic there, y'all. Um, also, you get to see by, backstage of the theater. You know, the theater, they've got all the costumes in there and props and stuff. And uh, one of the uh, entertainers there will, will show you some of that stuff and how they change real quick. They got people ready back there working. It's kind of neat seeing behind the scenes of that also. And we, on this particular one on the Magic, we got to go see the cruise pool area. If you see like a drone footage like Cruise Nuts, hey, Cruise Nuts, Mike and Tracy, they always watch uh, hashtag replay. So they do drone footage of ships. And you'll see sometimes there's that one round pool or one little square pool at the front of the ship. And you're like, I can never find that pool. How can I get to that pool? You can't unless you're the crew or on this tour. On that tour, we got to go out to the cruise pool and we got our picture taken out there. I didn't put it up here. Um, I'd have to go dig it up and find it, but uh, it was pretty neat to stand out there in a place that you see, you can see on drone footage, but you don't even see it on the maps. It's not even on the, on the cruise floor plans, but it's there and you know, it's there. Hey, there's Marjorie coming in. Marjorie, Sea Lake Journey is hot and good afternoon. Hey, Marjorie. We was talking about you. Was your ears burning? It was all good stuff. Nothing but good stuff to say about Marjorie. She is fantastic. Can't wait to meet her live and in person. And uh, TNT, Addison, there you go. Hey, you guys can make him uh, run in, into each other up there. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. Everybody's saying hi to Marjorie. Right on. Uh, just down the street, Orange County, 12 miles. See, 12 miles, you can probably do that in an hour. Yeah, you can probably get there in an hour, right, in the Chicago area? <laughs> no doubt about it. Oh, <clears throat> So let me read this next part to you. Uh, the tour is extremely exclusive, offered only once during the cruise on a sea day, and is limited to 16 participants. Uh, led by our onboard learning and development manager. Yeah, how about that? Learning and development manager. What is that? Accompanied by a member of our security team, and they had a security team dude with us. Uh, you'll get to visit sensitive areas operated at elevated security levels. Tour participants will also be able to meet and interact with shipboard staff while visiting the different areas. Yes, they they had different people from the different areas. Like I say, we had the captain on the bridge. We had the laundry guy in the laundry room. We had one of the uh, performers in the backstage area of the uh, stage. So everywhere we went... We, there was somebody there to tell us about that particular area because they that was their area. And it was so great. It was so great. And you could ask them questions and, and talk to them. Everybody was really cool, really friendly, and it, it was fantastic. Now, Ross says you're only 10 to 15 minutes away. Really? At 12 miles in Chicago and you can do it that quick? Hmm, that, okay. I'm with you. So if I get to Chicago, I can run into both of you guys real quick. That would be cool. Uh, traffic is worse on Alligator Alley. Really? Alligator Alley ain't that bad. Okay. Okay. Right on. Yeah, I'll tell you what's bad. There's I-4. <laughs> so that's just stuff you want to know. So what's included? Besides this tour, besides the tour itself and getting to meet all these people and ask questions, here, here's what else you get. You get the behind the fun baseball cap identifying guests as honorary team members. That's the hat. Like back there, my dog's wearing at the table. So you get that hat that you can wear. And I think somebody's wearing it in the photograph too. Uh, also, you're going to get complimentary commemorative photos. And we did the thumbnail and another one out there by the pool, the crew pool that nobody else gets to go to. Uh, you also get some Carnival branded goodies. Now I have one of them over there. Uh, the pig's wearing it, the lanyard. It's really cool. It's unique. You only get that from, you know, behind the phone tour. Light snacks and pastries. Yeah, we had those in the in the galley. They gave us a sampling of some stuff. It's just all around fun tour, y'all. I think we need to do this on the breakaway, Tom and Terry. I think we need to do that. I'm talking myself right into it. Orange Cone says, yes, Chet, if you were outside the 1294 ring in the western and northwest suburbs, it's quick. You know, I've, I've only been, other than flying into O'Hare on an airplane, I've only been to Chicago once. I was up there at uh, Cancer Treatment Centers of America, their uh, big uh, headquarters up there. And it was really nice out there. Never knew I was in Chicago. 
I didn't believe I was in Chicago because it was really like a suburb area. It was really nice. Really, really, really nice. TNT says, coat up and stay, Chet and Robin. Then we will plan on meeting up with Ross. Come on up. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That would, that would be awesome. I'm probably going to be easier to meet on a cruise ship, though. Just saying. <laughs> All I got to do is talk Ross into that cruise in May. <laughs> and uh, 10 minutes away from O'Hare. Yeah, I've been to O'Hare many times over the last, the first time I was there in 1983. <laughs> yeah, it's been a few years, 40 years. Mm, mm, can you believe that? So, hey, how much does this cost? Now, I know we've already talked about one. Uh, George popped one up there on us. Um, it started at $90. Uh, it's, two, it's two and three quarters hours. So for two hours and 45 minutes, you get the $90 tour on these ships, the Carnival Elation, the Paradise, the Radiance, the Sunrise, and the Sunshine. Okay? Now, for $130, you're getting a three-hour and 45-minute tour on the Carnival Breeze, the Conquest, the Dream, the Freedom, the Glory, the Horizon, the Legend, the Liberty, the Magic, and the Miracle, and the Panorama, the Pride, the Spirit, the Valor, and the Vista. So, yeah, it's almost four hours. So, yeah, it's a good long tour, y'all. And now starting from $150, okay, $150 for a three-hour and 45-minute tour, you get the Celebration, the Jubilee, or the Mardi Gras. So next time we're on the Mardi Gras, we're on an XL class, we're definitely going to do that tour. I'm just saying. And I think I'd like to do that on a Norwegian breakaway. It'd be something really unique to do. Mm. Robin, if you're listening, I want to do the behind-the-scenes tour on the breakaway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got some other notes here that everybody's going to need to note. But what else we got first? Danny says, yep, that's where Big Bro and his fiance to be live. And that's where I will be April 18th on the weekend. How about that? Your big brother lives in Chicago. That's cool, y'all. Orange Cone says, cruise schedule filled for 24 and 25. I know the feeling, Ross. I know the feeling. <clears throat> we fill ours up like that. You know, we try to stay like 24 months ahead. And uh, <clears throat> Aaron says, wow, sounds like a pretty broad scope of ships for the three hour and 45 minutes from Pride to Horizon. Yeah. Yeah. The only one that's less than that is, um, is the Elation, Paradise, Radiance, Sunrise, and Sunshine. And those are all the smaller ships, uh, 100,000 tons and less. Everything over that 101,000 tons and up looks like is going to be a, a, a longer one, like that 345. That's because you got so much more area to cover. It's such a bigger ship. There's more to see. And, uh, yeah, I look forward to doing it again. But we got some more notes on this here. <clears throat> Hold on, y'all. You know what time it is? It's time for my water break. You know what happens on my water break? That's right. You get to see reindeer walking in front of us in Alaska. Don't forget, we have a full-length video of that bus ride in Denali Park, Denali National Park. Be sure and check that out. <laughs> That's right. It's the water break reindeer. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> the water break reindeer. You know it. So, hey, just to let y'all know, too, this tour happens on the last sea day of your voyage, okay? If there's only one sea day on your voyage, your tour will take place on that day. Please stop by the Carnival Adventures desk to collect your tickets. If you don't know where that's at, watch our latest uh, Mardi Gras video, and we'll take you right to that desk, and you can see kind of what it looks like. It'll look similar on the other Carnival ships. Carnival Adventures. That's where you go to book excursions on the ship. And um, we tried in the past booking excursions on the ship. And most of the time, the ones we wanted to do were already filled up. So they can at least offer you other options. They can say, well, if this one's filled up, how about this one or this one? And they can tell you which ones they recommend from their own personal perspective, too, as well, and give you some tips about it. 
So that's always good to go talk to them. And, and they got some good knowledge there. Aaron says, Orange Cone Booze Cruise in a secret versus 2.0. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right on, y'all. And there's Tiffany giving us some hearts. Hey, y'all, don't forget, um, if you haven't given us a thumbs up already, please do. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Woohoo! Thank you. All right, so here's some other things you need to know. For security reasons, no cameras, recording devices of any kind, or cell phones are permitted on the tour. None at all. Nothing that you can take any pictures because they're security areas. And that's why they got the security guy walking with you to make sure that you didn't sneak one in there to be clever. Oh, uh, rules are for thee and not for me. I'm going to sneak a photograph in here ha, 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 and put it up on my YouTube channel and show everybody, hey, this is what they won't let us take a picture of. <laughs> Don't be that person. Don't do that. So a deer, a female deer. <laughs> right on, Danny, sing it. Uh, 615 till the rock and roll tribute cruise. Oh, only 615 days. Oh, that's coming up close. That's coming up close, y'all. And right here, we got Lori Barber, a member for 15 months, watching ads. Be right there. <laughs> Lori, don't watch that ad. Don't worry about that. Just come on in and hang out with us, and we'll give you a double squeaky and a hand clap. Lori's going to be with us on the MSC Seashore, y'all. So we're going to get to hang out with her up there in the Yacht Club. I'm looking so forward to that. Woo! It's going to be fun, Lori. It's going to be fun. Little late. Hey, it's never too late, they Come hang out with Sea Leg Journeys. And what a great crew we've got in here tonight. We're talking about behind the scenes tour stuff. And uh, the one we did on the Carnival Magics, the one I'm using for um, the example. And I'm letting you know what Carnival's official website says as well. So here's some more stuff you need to know. Like I say, don't bring your camera or your cell phone. Don't do it. They won't let you do it. Uh, guests must wear comfortable closed-toed shoes or sneakers. Right on. So the following cannot be worn. Sandals, flip-flops, bathing suit attire, and skirts. The reason why you can't be wearing any of that stuff is because you're going to be going up and down little ladders. They don't tell you that in this description, but because I've done it, I know why they won't let you have that stuff. You are going, you know those little ladders like this between decks? Yeah, you won't always be taking the elevator. In fact, most of the time you're going to be going up them ladders. Now, keep in mind, I did this with a prosthetic leg, so it's okay. If you are an amputee and you know you can do it, they'll let you do it as long as you can climb them ladders and stuff, okay? You got to go up and down. That's why, ladies, you don't want a skirt or a dress because all the guys will be fighting to go behind you up the ladder and somebody will get hurt. They don't want you wearing flip-flops and sandals because your shoe fall off and bunk somebody in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> Get knocked out by a flip-flop on a behind-the-scene tour. Ah! Lori says, can't wait. We can't wait either. Lori, it's, it's only like um, uh, like 43 days or no, 50 days. 50 days. I think it's 50 days. That's going to go fast, real fast. I'm trying to lose 10 or 70 pounds. I've got a ways to go yet, but the weight is coming down finally. Thank goodness. Uh, TNT says Terry's checking, but we might not be able to do behind the scenes. If you can't, Tom, don't worry. I, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check with Rob and make sure she wants to do it first. And if she does, I think we're going to try to book that. And at least we'll be able to tell everybody what it's about, you know. And it, 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 I think it'll be interesting. Dang, I can't wear my, my budgie snuggler. <laughs> No. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, too much money. To me, it is expensive. I know it's expensive. Uh, I think we got some onboard credit though. So I would use I forget how much onboard credit we got, but we're going we would take that and go boop and use it to pay for that. That's what I'm thinking. Lori thinks it's 48 days. Woo, 48 days. I hope you're right, Lori. I hope it's 48 cuz I'm ready to go. Mm. Mm, meet you in the yacht club. Might meet you in the parking lot uh, before we even actually get there. Uh, if you haven't been on MSC, Lori, I don't, I don't remember if you have or not, but we're going to, with the yacht club, go right to the front of the line. Just go up there and say yacht club, yacht club, and they're going to pull you right in. They're going to take your luggage away from you and tote you right in there. And it is first class service 
from the time you get out of your car in the parking lot. It just is. Yeah, true. <laughs> More real solutions for real cruisers. That's right. Real. So that's what we do right here, Aaron. <laughs> okay, what else we got here, y'all? Uh, minimum age for this tour. Hey, can I take my kids on this tour? Well, if they're at least eight years old, you can. Minimum age for the tour is eight years old. Any guests under 18 must be accompanied by an adult. So don't book it for your teenager and send them up there by themselves. They won't be able to go. If you book them, you got to go with them. You got to book them too and go. I think I think a teenager would love this. I remember being a teenager, even though it was, you know, yeah, a long time ago. I would have loved it. I think this would have been probably my favorite thing on the ship other than the water slides. <laughs> Just saying. Um, Onboard credit is for me. Laugh out loud. Right on, Jeffrey. Thank goodness we had Jeffrey on our last Princess Cruise because I had $60 left. And I said, well, how am I going to do this? Jeffrey had a real solution for a real cruiser and helped me get through that $60. He sure did. <laughs> no, first time white tents. All right. First time, Lori. Okay, it's, it's only our second time, but uh, we do have a, a gold status as well, which uh, Yacht Club supersedes any status level. Okay, that's like booking the suite on another ship. The first people to go on the ship are the suites, like on Carnival. Well, the first people that get on the MSC ships are the Yacht Club because those are the suites. If you got a suite, you're in the Yacht Club. If you're in the Yacht Club, you got a suite. Dang, I want my luggage back. <laughs> No, you don't, Jeffrey. The butler's got it. The butler is taking it. And when I say butler, they're dressed like a butler. You know, the little tails, white gloves, whole nine yards. But you know, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's the way we got to go. Can't wait to go to Chicago again. Danny, you're going to have fun on that. Woo! Starting MSC at the top. And I'll tell you, Lori, you'll never want to look back. I won't even book on MSC unless I'm going to book the Yacht Club. And trust me, I've already done the math. I'm a math guy. I compared booking a, a, a room, adding a drink package, adding a Wi-Fi, adding a gratuities, blah, 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 blah. And it's only like a couple hundred dollars difference to get the Yacht Club. So I'm doing a Yacht Club. Yacht Club is white tents. I'll take it. White tents. We didn't even have to get in a tent. They just took us right into the building. <laughs> we were right in the building. <laughs> Not sure all suites are Yacht Club. Yes. As far as I know, all suites are in the Yacht Club. I don't think there's any suites outside of that. Uh, that whole that Yacht Club, that was awesome because there's only like 200 people going to be in that. You know, so it's it's really a nice small area in the front of the ship. The seashore has the largest Yacht Club, by the way. Four decks. Four decks with pools, hot tubs, whole nine yards. You're going to love it. Speaking of love it, there is Captain Billy. Ahoy there, everybody. Ahoy there, Chet. The captain is here right on Captain Billy. A squeaky for you, brother. Uh, Lori says she did the map, too. Y yeah, it's a smart move. It's a smart move, I think. That's, I, I won't look back. If I book MSC again, and I'm sure I will, it'll be Yacht Club, baby. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, you can book a Fantastical or Aries suite. Oh, okay. Oh, you can. Okay. But they can't access the Yacht Club. They can't get in the Yacht Club. Only Yacht Club can get in the Yacht Club. Woo! You'll see the butler's going to show you all that, though. I don't want to ruin all of I don't want to tell you all the fun, Lori. Some of it's so fun to find out when you're first time by yourself. <laughs> so, hey, I'll get my last points up here, y'all. Um, to book, guests will select the tour as a shore excursion under their ship's home port. Don't forget, book it before you get on the ship because it's going to be sold out. If you are a wheelchair person, okay, <clears throat> if I didn't have a prosthetic leg and I couldn't walk, you know, because that happens sometimes. Some, just because uh, amputees, not all amputees can walk on a prosthetic leg. And I can't walk on mine all day, but I'm going to walk on mine for this. But uh, some people can't walk on them. They use crutches. They use different devices. There is an abbreviated tour that's also available for guests with disability. So it's not the full tour. There's some places you're going to miss out on, but you get to see as much as they can get you to in that wheelchair or scooter. I don't know how much that is. I've never done a tour in a wheelchair, so I don't know. I just know that when I did it, we did a lot of this, a lot of climbing up ladders between decks. And, uh, yeah, 
but I liked it. It just made it part of the fun. This is part of the fun for me. True that. Oh, that's a hoy. I, I meant to hit true that right there. <laughs> and uh, Captain Billy says, ahoy there, maybe Danny, from the real captain. How about that? Lori says, Fantastica or Aria. Okay. Sweet. Those are sweet. All right. See, I didn't even know that. See, I thought only the Yacht Club had sweets. Because that's all you Yacht Club is all sweets. There's nothing else in the Yacht Club. I saw a channel the other day that says you can book a room in the Yacht Club that's not a suite, but that's that's not true. Uh, I checked that I did check that part out, and everything is a suite. I booked an interior this time, and it's still called a suite. Last time, the first time we went, we booked a, a balcony, and it was gigantic. The balcony was enormous. I could have put 20 people out there. <laughs> Lori, I did the math. <laughs> that's right, Lori. <laughs> if you need the math done, let me know. <laughs> I'm a math person. Uh, I will not save $200 on a cruise if I can get that much of an upgrade. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I want, I want to save $200, but there's sometimes I don't want to save it that way. I'm willing to spend it to, if I can get this much for $200, I'm taking it. If I'm only getting this much, then nah, I'll save the $200 and do something else with it. But you got to check those things out for yourself. Uh, wow. I'm, I'm quickly getting near the end of my time. So if anybody's got any question, comment, throw it in the chat. Uh, hopefully y'all got some good information out of this and hopefully you'll want to go see behind the scenes tour, which on carnival is called behind the fun. We did it on the carnival magic. It was 100% worth the money. Um, I think when we did it, I want to say it was $110 back then. Um, this is obviously prices have jumped up in the last, last year, last year, especially last two years, everything's just went inflation is taking over, not just in the States, but everywhere. And uh, ooh, let me see here. Four out of three people are bad with math. <laughs> That's what I hear, Ross. That's a, I heard the same thing. Always look at value, not price. Double squeaky. <laughs> Jeffrey, that's right. And that's why um, I've always been a, a fan of Princess. Because with, with their package they have, great value. Great value. Mm. Aaron says, there is such a thing as money well spent. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, we all want to spend our money wisely. We don't want to just throw money in the air. We want to get that value. We want to spend our money well. And that's why we love cruising so much. That's why we have the channel. To just tell everybody what a great value cruising in itself is. It's, it's just fantastic. You get to do so many fun things, get to meet so many great people. I'm looking forward to meeting all of y'all. Now, some of y'all have already met. Some of you haven't, but some of you I will in the future. And uh, yeah, right. Okay, looks like my chat's run out too. So y'all, I sure appreciate it. And uh, don't forget to join us Wednesday at 8.30 in the morning, Friday at 8.30 in the morning. And as far as I know, unless something changes between now and then, next Sunday night at 6 o'clock, Robin will be here with me next time. She won't be out of town again like she is this time. So the show will be better. And uh, I may even do a game show. If we're going to do it next, if we're going to do it next Sunday, I'm going to try to come up with another uh, C Leg Journey Lib because I think it's uh, better to do it as an hour show. Thirty minutes just was not enough time. Mm. Even with the price hikes, cruising is still a good deal. Absolutely, Jeffrey, I 100% believe that. 100% mm. believe that. Thank you, Danny D. We appreciate you. <laughs> Woo! And we got hearts from Tiffany. All right, y'all, I'm going to leave it off there with the hearts up there until, um, yeah, that's all I got to say. So until next time, we'll see you around the channel. See you around the channel. <laughs>